That's an out, Pluto. That's an out. Fuck all the cars, you're right on their ass, we tryna get cash, ayy Gon' roll up a guard, hop right in the traffic, we doin' the dash, ayy We got them on cleanup, don't touch a procedure, we gettin' it fast, ayy We tryna break even and do it with reason, just don't wanna crash, ayy Pull up, we light up that perk, see the hard work on my shirt Sweatin' his eyes, let's be the vibe, baby just tryna get word Hard you be smellin' this gas, Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Chase. You're now tuning in Chase my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be discussing my Air Force One collection. So over the years, I haven't noticed this, but I did used to like Air Force Ones growing up. But I'm starting to realize I really don't like Jordans no more. And taking a look at my collection, I've been really been picking up on Air Force Ones lately. So in this video, we're going to be talking about all the Air Force Ones that I have been picking up and the reason why. And uh, I used to be and I used to be in love with Jordan 1 so bad, but I think I didn't switch my style a little a little bit too. So we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about that in today's video. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. And I just want to say thank y'all for watching Chaseway. Let's get into the today's video. All right, man, we in today's video. First thing I gotta say is, I have all my shoe boxes right here. And I guess we can we can just talk about the classic little box. These not the classic boxes, but this is like the new version boxes with the QR code that they normally put on them now. I wish I had like an original Air Force One box. I remember having one. I remember having one when, uh, that song with Nelly, Give Me Two Pair Air Force Ones, Stepping In My Air Force Ones, that video. But over the years, they've been coming out with different exclusive Air Force One boxes. And I didn't realize in 2021, they only, only got two variations. Well, I got three variations of different shoe boxes to expect. So, of course, you got the classic gray. And you also have the like different standalone Air Force Ones just like these. But like I said, we're gonna talk about how my style has changed. And we're gonna get in just, we're gonna give it a little brief summary of how, yes, um, I was real big on Kanye. He made the Royal Ones popular. I wasn't able to afford them at the time, but now that I'm a little bit older, I've been making money and stuff like that. Now I can afford the things that I want. So now, when I started working for City Gear, I was getting shoes, Jordan ones like that. I was looking at Air Force Ones, but it wasn't really my thing. And then all of a sudden, it switched. And I remember, this was the year these came out. So right here, you got Air Force One right here on the box. I don't know if that's picking up on the screen, but you see the force right there. And I remember when these did hit the market, but I didn't go for them right away. And what made me go for them, what made me go for them in today's climate, is I was remember I was watching a Bull to Garcia video, and he was talking about these in $100 below. Then Richie Lee talked about them as well, and I was like, you know what, I gotta pick these up before these get, you know, before these get too wild. So. I ended up picking up these Rockefeller Air Force Ones. Great leather. Great leather. And you got the Rockefeller emblem right there. Uh, hopefully that focus. There you go. Got that Rockefeller right there. And then you got the buttery leather, leather on everything on this insole. You see it. It's a real great constructed shoes you got silk in lining things like that I still have a dead undead stock these but I think it's gonna be a minute I think this gonna still be the summer that I rock these but I think I might just pick up a regular Air Force One and just wear those but City Gear not to mention City Gear they do got like a, a Air Force One with a gun bottom so I think I might just pick those up instead but yeah, uh, started with these, and then I've been trying to sell these for a little minute. But then eventually I was like, I don't want to sell them anymore. You also got the Rockefeller in the insole, and you got it on the 
a pull tag inside the shoe. See, y'all can see that. There you go. Right now it look better. I don't know why the color was missing. There you go. But yeah, we got you got these. Uh, still got the still got the stock X, the true stock X variation tag. Uh, them other stock X tags, I don't know about. I can't say nothing about those. Uh, moved along, and I remember. Let's see. Let's see if I can just pick this out the spot. I remember LeBron James came out with his sneaker, and they was doing they was doing something on sneakers out, and I was like, uh, "Yeah, I gotta pick these up just to have in my collection, so I can just you know have these over time." And I don't think I'm gonna undead stock these at all because I still got the Marcus and the shoelaces right here, but these are the I M. Interrupt Air Force Ones. See these Air Force Ones is real nice. It's giving much more of a brighter blue on camera, but it's more so like a what kind of blue they call this? They call this a race of blue, so no wonder why I look like this on the camera. Okay, I'll take that back. It does look like this got the blue bottom, got blue laces, but you can exchange it for white. Got some good leather. Got the I am more than a athlete kind of sorta. I remember when these came out. So you got different nice little variations to it. Got Air Force One on the Nike tag. Yeah, I'm very proud about these though. Yeah, so I'm just probably gonna just pick these up. I mean put these up on a case or something and hold them for its true value for long term. Nothing crazy, nothing hype. Uh, moving along, then I remember, I was like, okay, I got those forces, so I need some forces to rock every day. And these has been my most worn Air Force One because I do like gun bottom, but this navy, this navy swoosh suede uh, tongue right here, and this tumble leather, nice, nicely constructive. I don't know why my lightning just did that. I don't know why I did that. Uh, I got these right here. These are real nice. There we go. These are so nice. So, so nice. Why is my lightning? I was trying to focus on this white. Yes, this is real nice. Let me see if I can fix this for you. There we go. Oh, my bad, y'all. I've been, been messing this up. Oh, focus. Now, now you just gotta focus. Oh, let's take this off. Oh. There we go. Now we got some good lightning. Still too bright. Ew, too bright. There we go. Now y'all can see the true, the trueness of this shoe. Got the perfect lighting and everything for it. All right, this is how my camera should be looking. That's crazy. You know, sometimes you learn something new about your camera. But yeah, you got these Navy Air Force Ones with the gun bottom. I'll be wearing these a lot. And I got a couple pictures that I can put up on the screen that I'll be up and over. So those came out and I was like, yeah, I must have those. Then I remember seeing these. I think, who was I watching? Kaiso Mo? No, I wasn't watching Kaiso. I was watching Richie Lee. The white pair they talked about, but I didn't notice a black pair came out. And I was like, these are must have. Black Air Force One activity vibes, but majority of the colors is what had it popping. I'm gonna post the picture right there so y'all can see what I wore with these to bring out certain different colors. I wore one of our uh, Vacant Places hats right here. Wear one of those hats, you know. You can go and pick those up at vacant.places.com. And uh, yeah, pick those up. Uh, so me, I'm going to say, if you are a eight, 
go true to size of all Air Force Ones. Uh, they run a half a size big. I'm an eight and a half, so just, just get them in the eight. And these are pretty much the low end Air Force Ones. Got one more low end Air Force One. Where's that? Uh, we got one more. And then these are the Hype Beast Air Force One. So this Air Force One came out on Halloween. I remember passing up on the first variation. I didn't even wake up and go for those. But the black version, I couldn't go for those. But the orange ones came out I said, hopefully I win on these. And I end up striking out on these. And I'm very proud that I striked out on these. So you got the these Air Force Ones, the October editions. What they call these, the skeletons. So you got the glow in the dark bottom. And the only thing about these, once you start wearing these, the bottom is gonna be dirty. So eventually, you're gonna have to re-up on another pair, but you see how icy and beautiful these are. Yeah, they, they do glow up in the dark for sure. You got the white bottom, and then at nighttime, these just gonna be glowing. Yeah, these are very, very nice. Uh, the leather is normal, just Air Force One type leather. Nothing buttery about them. So that's why you gotta wear your sneaker shields. You gotta wear your sneaker shields. And then overall, this was my latest pickup. I was just look, I was just walking the store looking for something different and uh, I had to go with these. Cause I seen these on uh, Sneaker News Instagram. And I was like, dang, that'd be dope if we get these in our foot locker. And uh, yeah, I ended up picking these up, which is real, real nice. Now, I gotta, I gotta turn the brightness down for these. Oh, so y'all can see these in full effect. So you see the different accents, the gold accents on the shoe, different things like that. All white, just simple, but you got the gold accents on the shoe tilts, you got the little piece right here on the lace lock gold all on around the swoosh bring y'all back uh, but yeah different you know real different but this is pretty much all my air force one collection right here and i've been coming out with some other good sneakers too so definitely gotta go for those and uh yeah this is how I've been growing my Air Force One collection. Ain't too much of a story, but I've been selling my Jordan Ones and my style is, is changing. I'm starting to enjoy these Air Force Ones a little bit more. I don't know. Air Force Ones is starting to become a little bit too bucky for me or something. I guess my style is just, just changing as, as whole or everybody just enjoy Air Jordan Ones too much. So I, I said, I'm just gonna change my style so I think that's pretty much what it is. I just changed my style because everybody been wearing Air Jordan 1. So I just like to stand out, honestly. That's just what I like to do. I like to stand out. I like to just be me. I don't like to, to be like, oh, see about 30 people with the same sneaker. So I just wanted to go with something different. Air Force 1 is something casual you can just throw on and go on about your day. If somebody have it, that's cool. But Air Jordan 1 is still like one of those special places in my heart. Which is weird. But i get those later. It's not really big on them. But y'all let me know what's y'all favorite Air Force 1 down below. And uh, let me know if y'all got any of these Air Force 1s as well. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in another video. Chase Reyes out. Peace.